Please come to the stage. We pre-record the surgery bilateral ureter adjustment with mobile. Chandra? Yes. Good morning, everyone. As you all know, the ureter can be damaged by the gynecologist, by the urologist, by anyone who is dealing with pelvic surgery and radiotherapy. Large number of patients who receive radiotherapy to carcinoma cervix. Lower ureters gets radiotherapy and then get, they get stenosed. We put PCL and they will be on PCL. If the disease is cured, please on the presentation. If the disease is cured, we have to give solution by removing the PCL. It's very difficult because bladder is also damaged, ureters are also damaged, and you have to put these ureters into bladder is difficult to task. There comes the role of the intestine. Number two, these cases are very rare. One case, they have removed the entire ureter along with ovarian cyst. Complete ureter removed. In other case, both ureters are stitched at the upper ureter and stented, removed, stented, removed, stented, removed for three years. Then entire ureter got damaged. So both ureters, N female, multiple stentings got stricture. These are the three cases I am showing where intestine helped as rescue. In the first case where the ureters in the lower end received radiotherapy, patient was on stent converted to PCR. If you go to the literature, only Chinese international paper is there which showed seven cases of bilateral ureter replacement. Probably mine is the 8th case. Unilateral replacement, lot of cases are there. I am showing in these 3 videos 10 minutes. 1. 7 shaped ilium. The 7 upper horizontal bar will insert into 2 ureters. This is the case. If you see here, this patient had radiotherapy 8 years back. Bilateral low ureteric structure, creatinine went up to 2.8 came to 1.7. Whenever you diagnose a case of stricture ureter, you should put PCN, otherwise you may miss the bus. I have put bilateral PCN. See the ureter how it is, very big, thick, thick, with multiple petechiae. This is the picture of post radiotherapy. I am using SSI mantra robotic system here to get the ureters into the abdomen, peritoneum. Now I measured the bowel, it is approximately 15 centimeters. Then mark it with the catheter, use the GI stapler. First step is end-to-end -end anastomosis, finish it off. Don't delay that. Now staplers are used for that, end-to-end -end and side stapling, that is over. This is the bowel which is going below, this is very important. It's a bowel going like a necklace. This is the ureter. First, I am using the left ureter. Bowel should be isoperistaltic. Left ureter proximal, right ureter next distal, bladder next distal. Seven, seven shape. Lot of patients require this surgery, I am telling you. Lot of patients, they will be on PCL, they will be suffering, they will get intermittent infections. But if you do this surgery well, I am doing on the right side now. Every time when I did, anterior wall I have not sutured. Only posterior wall on the left side, only posterior wall on the right side, only posterior wall of the bladder, so that I can put feeding tubes. That is the very important part in this surgery. Otherwise it is difficult to pass a stent or feeding tube in a seven shaped bladder. So all the posterior are over now. See, the proximal, distal, all places I have passing the stent. I am passing the stent, I am passing into the left ureter. Now again I am passing stent. Now I will start closing the, now I am passing the stent on the right side. I am fixing it because they are important. Now I have attached these two stents to police catheter. And that is pulled out through urethra, female patient. So stents have come out, I mean, feeding tube and then I switched the anterior ureter, anterior ureter, anterior bladder. 
So I hope you understand the seven shear period type. Seven, the same medium. The one end goes to right period type, one end goes to left, and another goes to bladder. Second case is a very complicated case, laparoscopically. It is an eight hour surgery with 14 ports. I have shared already in the social media much of the Egyptian and Tajikistan uh, urologists are familiar with me. I am very thankful for that. Lot of people know field urology. I am very much thankful for your participation. In this patient, after the stents are removed, both ureters getting closed. Three years, it is not good. This is the initial phase. We might have treated very well, but this is the last phase. Completely, they became like a thin, thin line. So I have used right side. This is a complicated case. Right side. I have dissected, I identified the ureter up to the pelvis, I have reverted the ureter, then I have taken measurement to bladder to this, it is around 10 centimeters, I have taken the bubble, everything on right side, and then I sutured the bubble to the bladder and ureter, that means right side is over, with five ports. Now, I am suturing the right side ureter to the bubble so with the right loin position. After this is over, same position, I have taken another 25 centimeters for the left side, keeping the patient on the right side so that you need not change the position. Now this is over, on the right side completely over. Now I am taking the bubble for left side. How? Imagining maximum length 25 centimeters. No problem. If you say 5 cm extra, nothing will happen. You can cut it off. From the same right side, from the same right side, I prepared the bubble and I also did the anastomosis of the distal end of the ilium to the left bladder from the right side. I hope you understand. So from the right side, I did right ureter replacement laparoscopically, mobilization of the bubble laparoscopically. Insertion of the bubble into the bladder like this, it is over now. Now I changed, uh, I tested with mithril blue, it is normal on the right side. Now I changed the position. Now I changed and put the another four ports. Ultimately, this is the picture after three months, after two months. Bilateral ureter, completely draining with 14 ports, eight hours. You should be physically, mentally fit. Now, last replacement, it is very unusual that with ovarian cyst, complete ureter is removed. Total ureter is removed with ovarian cyst. Top to bottom, large uridoma formed. Big uridoma, because every drop will come into retroperitoneum. We drain ultrasound wise. We have put a PCL. This is a picture, dangerous picture where pelvis is not there. Very, very dangerous. So RGP, nothing is there, ureter. So, we put laparoscopically, it's easy, only one side you have to do, measure the length, take the intestine, foot from the pelvis to the uh, bladder, that is sufficient. So I have taken the uh, uh, dissection of the pelvis was very difficult, because when they cut, when you put PCN, when uroma is drained, it is very difficult. You have to go slowly, you have to the edges, let the mouth open like a flower. Otherwise, it will fail. Like in urethroplasty, we avert the edges of the mucosa in a difficult P PPFUD. Same thing I have done here. Widely opened the pelvis, bladder, then measured the intestine. This intestine is brought to the dysentery into the retroperitoneum. You can see that. And then this bubble is anastomosed to the bladder and ureter. To conclude, these cases are difficult cases. See the assembly. This is the bowel divided. The major problem is mucus in the urine. In female patient is okay. Fortunately, all my three patients are females. In male patient, it may be difficult to manage. Second thing, metabolic acidosis can occur. You have to regularly follow for the, the H plus ions, pH of the blood and correct with sodium bicarbonate tablets like in renal failure and correct this metabolic acidosis. And third thing, they have a chance of formation of the malignancy at the junctions. Very rare, but you need to follow. Our experience is limited. We don't see these cases often. I have done only three cases. I am happy to present these three cases in this forum. 
This is a must conference because last bilateral pillar replacement finished only three months back. This is a must conference uh, I am presenting. I am thankful to the chairpersons for giving this opportunity. In fact, uh, day before yesterday when we have done one curatorial structure, we were planning to make ilium, but patient may not be happy. So don't casually attempt these cases. Take health. Stricture ureter is upper ureter is equal to nephrectomy. You should uh, always uh, take the opinion from two three persons. Get the senior with you and do intestinal elastomosis with stapler. If you are not comfortable, do open surgery. Nobody is going to say anything to you. Nothing will happen. Open surgery, laparoscopic surgery, robotic surgery. Principles are same. Reconstruct the ureter with good elastomosis, tension-free vascular tissue. Buckle also can be used. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity.